Can you use caffeine as a weight loss tool or is it what's going to ruin the momentum you've been building so far? Let's dig in and figure out what the actual truth is behind caffeine as a weight loss tool. Welcome back Weight Warriors, I'm Mike, I'm a fat guy who's trying to not be fat anymore by making lifestyle changes. In this video, we're going to be talking about caffeine. It's a natural stimulant found in a lot of sources like coffee, tea, energy drinks, of course, and even some, we'll say, nutritional supplements. Caffeine is known for its ability to provide a temporary boost in energy and, of course, alertness. Now let's dive into how caffeine may impact our metabolism. Some studies actually suggest that caffeine can increase thermogenesis, which in production of heat in the body can promote fat oxidation as well. Potentially, those things help us in our weight loss journey really to, again, become more efficient fat burning machines. One study by Clark and Company in 2019 was published in the National Library of Medicine implied that caffeine could actually enhance activity thermogenesis and energy expenditure. And remember, activity thermogenesis refers to the energy our bodies expend when we engage in physical activity or movement. It includes activities like walking, exercising, even fidgeting, moving my arms around like I'm doing right now. All of this is activity thermogenesis. And when we're active, obviously, our muscles are working more and it requires more energy in the form of calories so the more physically active we are the more calories we burn so the findings of this study actually make total sense because caffeine is very likely to get us moving more because we have this higher energy which will have us expending more calories which creates a higher or more of a calorie deficit along the way which as we know is the key to weight loss and another potential benefit that i found with caffeine is its ability to suppress appetite and cravings by reducing our hunger pains caffeine may contribute to a decrease in calorie intake, which also supports our weight loss goals. Other activities that support our weight loss goals are hitting the like and subscribe button and letting me know if you're enjoying this video so far. Caffeine is also known to enhance energy levels, focus, and physical performance. When consumed before workouts, it actually can provide that extra push and help you maximize your training sessions if you're doing something like resistance training or, you know, lifting weights, which obviously this can be beneficial for weight loss as well. And that's why a lot of people tend to opt for a pre-workout supplement or again, having coffee before they go for a workout. But hold your horses, it's also important to address the safety considerations when it comes to caffeine. While moderate caffeine consumption is generally safe for most people, excessive intake can lead to side effects such as sleep disturbances, anxiety, digestion issues, and it also can kind of give you the jitters, make you just generally uncomfortable. So it's important to find the right balance, again, with all things, and caffeine is no exception. Keep in mind that individuals do respond differently to caffeine. There are a lot of factors at play here, such as tolerance, sensitivity, underlying health conditions that can influence how our bodies react to caffeine. So try to listen to your body and adjust your caffeine intake accordingly. So if you're considering using caffeine as a weight loss tool, here are some practical recommendations that I'd give you. Number one is start small, maybe one cup of coffee a day. Try to avoid going too hard too quick. Number two is be mindful of additional calories from sugars and creamers, as of course they can impact your overall calorie intake. Three, if you're taking it in the form of a pre-workout supplement, I wouldn't recommend doing pre-workout supplements for every single workout. I would reserve that extra caffeine boost for when you're really trying to either hit like a big one rep max or, you know, make some extra effort in your exercise. Maybe even save it just for leg days if, you know, you're going to use it that often. Remember, personalization is key. Caffeine might have some effect on energy expenditure, but it's definitely not a magical weight loss solution on its own. Sustainable weight loss comes down to, again, a balanced diet, regular physical activity, and overall lifestyle choices. While it may provide a temporary boost to our metabolism and possibly suppress appetite, and again, obviously it enhances your energy levels because it gives you that boost in energy, it's important to approach caffeine consumption with, again, moderation. You always need to go back to the basics. Remember to prioritize your nutrition, your exercise, and your recovery. But I would say don't be afraid of the occasional cup of joe because, as we've discussed, it might actually help you lose weight. 